الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحباب from one of the most important characteristics of the believer is that he or she is truthful meaning the opposite of which is of course being a lying person known for lying and tell telling tales so ayol ahbab as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we should strive our utmost to be truthful and to remove kevin or lying from our lives regardless of whether we are lying to people about things about ourselves or spreading lies about others which is even a greater crime with slandering and backbiting and making up stories about others in order to build ourselves up Ayyul Ahbab, these are characteristics which are madhmoon, sinful and wicked characteristics. And being truthful continuously is something that will gain you the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it will gain you success because it is based upon piety. And in an authentic hadith, عن ابن مسعود رضي الله تعالى عنه قال عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إن صدق يهدي للبر وإن البر يهدي إلى الجنة وإن الرجل ليصدق حتى يكتب عند الله صديقا وإن الكذب يهدي للفجور وإن الفجور يهدي للنار وإن الرجل ليكذب حتى يكتب عند الله كتاب متفق عليه. In this hadith that was collected in Bukhari and Muslim, the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said that verily truthfulness guides to piety and verily piety guides to paradise will take you to paradise and a man will continue to be truthful until he is written with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a truthful person Siddiq you know, one of those people, and they are some of the inheritors of Jinnah, who will be with the prophets, alayhim afdal salatu wasalam. And a man will, uh, and, and lying, it leads to fujur. And ayol ahbab, fujur is in reference to wickedness and sinfulness. And verily, fujur leads to the nar, leads to the hellfire. Wa'iyadun billah min dhalika. And verily, a man will continue to be to continue to lie until he is written with Allah as a liar, kithabin. And this is related to Bukhari and Muslim. Ayol ahbab. When the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that verily lying leads to fajur. Take a look at that statement, Ayyul Ahbab. That whenever a person continues to lie, you will see that it leads to other transgressions. There's no way it, it begins with a lie. Let's give one example. When a person lies about their whereabouts. For example, the husband who lies to his wife about his whereabouts or the wife who lies to her husband about her whereabouts. It almost always means, not only have they told one lie, but it always means they're covering up something 
which they want to be hidden from their partner. And most likely, that is something sinful if you don't want them to know about it. It could be something halal. There are times when there's those situations, but mostly it's a situation where it has to do with other fajur. So when the husband says, I'm sorry, I, 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 was, I was late, we had to work late, but he was actually lying. He was out with his girlfriend, or he was out doing, uh, drinking alcohol or doing drugs or doing something sinful. Ayul Ahbab, look at the hikmah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and look, look at that prophetic wisdom. Inna al-kathiba yahdi al-fujur And verily lying, it leads to fujur. So in the example that we gave, we see that by lying, it was a part of fujur. It was a part of another sin. And they just keep creating a cycle of sin. So the person who lies to cover up a sin, then they're going to more than likely continue to lie and continue to sin. It's a cycle because they'll have to lie about something else. Where were you? Oh, I was at my friend's house when in fact they were drinking alcohol. And so then they cover up their sin of drinking alcohol by lying. And then it leads to another sin and another lie. Because from their drunkenness, they began to fornicate. And then they began to lie about their fornication and lie about their alcohol problem, etc. The point being, Ayol Ahbab, is Al Kedib Yahdi Al Fujur. That lying, it leads to sinfulness. And likewise, or on the up opposite hand, in opposition to that, we see that Sid Yahdi Al Bir. That truthfulness, it guides you to righteousness. Because a person who is strict about being telling the truth about things, then they're not afraid of what they're doing because they're being truthful and it's going to lead them to more righteous deeds. What were you doing? I was, I, I had some extra money. I, I gave it to so-and-so, they were in need. I spent it in Sadaqa. Or I, what, whatever the situation was. Meaning that they are telling the truth. By right? being truthful, it leads them to other deeds of righteousness. Because they have nothing to hide. And they only have something to gain with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that righteousness and that piety leads to Jannah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be on that path of Jannah and forgive us of our many sins and protect us from lying and cheating and stealing and oppressing people. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.